Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video I am going to discuss how you can apply morphological operation to extract specific shape object present in an image. So this is the fundamental use of morphological operation right that's extracting specific shape. So what is new in that? Already I have discussed uh, different examples of morphological operation but mostly I have taken disc type or square or rectangular shape structuring element. So uh, rarely we have used the rectangular as well as line structure I have not shown any example that I am going to show you. Suppose I am having one image which is looking like this okay. In this particular image you can see there are some vertical bars are present and horizontal bars of some pixel width is present okay now suppose I want to extract all the vertical bars only remove all the horizontal bars what you can do in that case idea is very simple choose one structuring element which will fit in the vertical bar but not in the uh, horizontal bar so for that purpose I have chosen my structuring element as rectangular having the number of rows as 20 and number of column pixel width as 2 okay so you can clearly understand if uh, vertically 20 pixels are required it will not fit in this particular lesser with horizontal bars and as a result only vertical bars we will get okay so this is the simple idea so if I run the whole code see what you will be getting to output so here this is our original image and this is our extracted output having only vertical bars okay so what i have done for implementing the uh, execution that is nothing but first i have taken one structuring element of rectangular shape and then i have performed erosion due to erosion the all the horizontal bars are removed but due to application of the erosion technique some vertical bars also shrink so to overcome that i have again used im dilate now suppose you want the horizontal bars what you can do idea is very simple make the row width smaller column width higher okay if i run the same code now you can see the horizontal bars will be selected okay although this is distorted but you can understand that uh, all the vertical bars are basically removed okay so this is what about extracting different structuring element from our uh, object okay or input image now i am going to show you one very interesting program okay that is suppose you are having one image like this see some horizontal bars or lines some vertical lines and one angular line or line having some angle y equal to mx plus c type line is present for which we don't know what is the slope okay now i am asking you give me all the horizontal bars give me all the vertical bars and give me this particular y equal to mx plus c type line which is having some particular m in between 0 and 90 degree we can say nearly 45 degree it seems okay so for this what you can do as this a line so you can use line structuring element okay remember this very important structuring element so first after reading the image i have used strl that is structuring element okay line 20 comma suppose i am giving 0 what it means line structuring element having 20 pixels as its length and 0 as its angle okay second argument is angle first argument is what is the length for which you want to get okay how many pixels you will consider in that line in that line okay don't consider other on that line itself 20 pixels okay then performing erosion then performing dilation so as the angle is 0 degree so what will happen all the horizontal bars should be selected let us check so if i run see how beautifully we are getting the output this is our input and we are getting only horizontal bars as output now i think you can have clear idea that to extract the vertical bars what you have to do vertical lines that means slope is 90 degree right so here instead of 0 we will be writing 90 now if we run see how simply we are getting the vertical bars all right up to this it is quite clear now what about this particular line it seems that uh, the angle is nearly 45 degree because it is in between seals it between 0 and 90 degree so what we can do let us have a try with 45 degree okay sorry uh, control a then evaluate selection and see the problem actually the line is having slope not equal to 45 degree 
as a result we are getting no output erosion completely removes everything the structuring element is not at all fitting in any uh, object okay so that is a great problem now you just try to understand this sometimes appear in practical scenario also you are having one image you want to find the angle you don't know the angle now you have to apply some image processing technique so that you can have an idea of the angle at least close approximation at least right so how you can use morphological operation in this case see from the basic con concept of straight line you can say that this line is having some slope in between 0 and 90 degree obviously not 0 degree obviously not 90 degree so approximately we can say between 10 degree to 75 degree it is like that although we can say that it is close to 45 degree somewhere we will get but exactly not 45 degree because we are not getting the element at 45 degree so what we can do we can use one loop and each time we can change the value of the angle in our structuring element and we can check where our this particular uh, line is appearing in our output and that will be the required angle okay that's all this is this solves our problem so that's for that purpose i have written this code clc clearal close all x equal to rgb to gray i am read hor dot jpg then x equal to i am binarize x so this is my image as let me just show you once i am show x so this is my image which i have shown earlier also this one now i need this line but i don't know the angle so what i can do for i equal to 10 colon 75 from 10 degree to 75 degree i will traverse okay because obviously from simple uh, un, uh, looking at the structure itself we can conclude that it will not exceed this uh, range that is minimum 10 maximum 75 then structuring element line 20 comma i here we are not fixing the angle each time we'll change the angle then performing erosion and dilation as we have seen earlier also showing the uh, output and title i okay because we need to know that what is the angle corresponding to which we are getting result so that result we will be putting in the title part and draw now for draw now for the time being you can remove also and pause pause for key pressed purpose okay that is it will again execute if you press something any key from keyboard okay so that you can understand uh, and make your code flexible okay let me run then you can clearly understand so see first iteration in the first iteration the angle is 10 degree here you can see above it is clearly written in title and you can understand it is not at all fitting so press any key from the keyboard and then it will go to next iteration because pause here we are applying okay i have pressed space so see it became 11 it is not at all fitting now i am increasing that see 17 it is came very closer but still it is not looking like our um, uh, actual straight line so we will increase further 18 19 20 21 22 okay now very good approximation we are getting let's try to increase something more we will remember that okay 22 is uh, at 22 we are getting good approximation if uh, uh, next iteration comes distorted format then we will apply 22 okay that is previous one let us increase further 23 okay all right 24 25 26 27 okay okay all right 27 also very good we are getting 28 29 okay 29 distorted so 28 is a good approximation i will end terminate this using ctrl c command see if you press ctrl c your code will be terminated execution then i will go to my previous code here i will be putting 28 or 27 26 whatever okay because we have seen that we are getting good approximation see now we got our outcome okay so we can conclude from this particular unknown structure this angle is approximately 28 nearly 28 27 26 okay now what we can do to get more accurate result as you have got the idea that in between 22 to 28 the angle will come so instead of now 10 to 75 you can apply the range 22 to 28 with small increment okay 0 0.01 suppose okay and then you can try okay so this is how you can play with morphological image processing and find unknown angle present in an image this is another very important application in computer vision also so i hope you have understood this 
if you enjoyed this particular tutorial please like share and comment subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you